Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about patience and why you're going to need to exercise some patience if you're moving or visiting Thailand. Now before we get started, anywhere you move on this planet, you will need to exercise some patience as you get adjusted to new things in each country. So we're just going over the things that you might encounter here in Thailand. So this will be very Thailand specific. Now we're going to start off with a story. So when I first moved here, I started ordering things, which I still do, through a website called Lazada. Lazada is kind of like the Amazon for Thailand. So you order things online, it gets delivered to your home. So anyway, there was this one instance where I ordered, I forgot what it was, some item, okay? And the package finally arrived about four or five days later in the mail. So when I opened the bag up, there was absolutely nothing in the bag. Perplexed, yes. So I went online and went back to Lazada and put in for a refund. And in order to do a refund, it says you need a picture of the item. Only there was no item to take a picture of. So after chatting online with the actual seller of the product, which you can do through Lazada, they said the reason they sent a bag with nothing in it is because they were out of stock. So instead of canceling my order, they sent me an empty bag. And therefore, when you're sending it back, you need a picture for Lazada to return it. So I took a picture, ended up taking a picture of an empty bag and having to correspond with Lazada as to why I was not taking a picture of anything. Things like that require patience, and then I had to wait for a refund. All of this could have been avoided if they just simply canceled my order because the item wasn't in stock. So if you've been following our channel, you will know that my wife and I just moved out of a two-story house into a one-story house. To make everything go as smoothly as possible, we tried to schedule everything to where it would work out and there would be no problem. Now to start with, the people who were moving us never came to the house to assess how much stuff we had. They asked us to send them pictures of what we wanted them to move. Now how do you do that? You know, a lot of your stuff is packed away, whatever. So anyway, we sent them pictures of what we wanted them to move. And then we scheduled them on a specific day to arrive at nine o'clock. We wanted the yard to get finished and look really nice. So we wanted the yard people to come. We scheduled them a day before. Well, a day before we moved, the people doing the yard said, well, it's rained a little bit. We'll come the next day. That's the day we told them we wanted to avoid. Okay. Please do not come between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. because we will have movers here. So now we're at the day we're going to move. So first of all, the movers didn't show up at nine. They showed up at 830, which kind of threw us off a little bit, but they didn't get started at 830. Why? Because they had, that was one truck that showed up and it probably would have worked with just one truck. Five trucks showed up with eight movers and we don't have a lot of stuff at all. Again, the problem there is because they based them off some pictures and assumed we didn't take a picture of everything that they wanted us to move. So they gave us too high of a quote. They had too many trucks and too many people. Now to make things even more complicated, the people that were supposed to do the yard that we said, please don't come between nine and 11 showed up at yes nine o'clock and I tried to explain to them again, Hey, we really, we got all these people here. Oh, no problem. Okay, then to make things even more complicated, the garbage people came and they have this big truck and they stop in front of your house. So we had five moving trucks, one gardener truck and a trash pickup all happening at the same time. These are the kind of things we tried to avoid and you will need to exercise patience because things do not work out the way you plan them to. It will all work itself out you just need to have patience as you go through things like this. And another thing you're going to need patience with here in Thailand, and I'm only going to speak for the Chiang Mai area since that's where I live, which is in the northern most part of Thailand, is that in order, let's say the roads all run parallel. So you've got two lanes. 
if you're going down one and you need to get on the other side of the road, they have U-turns. Now to get in the U-turn, you have to get in the right lane. The right lane is the fast lane. So if you're wanting to slow down to get in the U-turn, you've got to go in the fast lane, then you need to slow down to do a U-turn. Now to make things even more complicated, when you make the U-turn, you make the U-turn into the right-hand lane of the next highway, which is again, yes, the fast lane. So to get off, you're in the fast lane, slowing things down, they're beeping at you because people want to go fast in the fast lane. You do the U-turn and then now you got to pick up speed by pulling into the fast lane to get back on your new road. Those are some of the things that you're going to need on a daily basis to have much patience with. And since we're on the topic of traffic, another thing you're going to need patience with, especially in the area that I live in, is the traffic lights. So the way the traffic lights work is one direction goes at a time most of the time. So in other words, if you were at the light and it's red, that means only one direction out of a four-way stop has the green at any given time. So let's say you just got to the light and it's red now and it just turned. That means you got to wait for green for one lane to the left, let's say, green for straight ahead. Then you got to wait for green for the right. And then, yep, yeah, you get your green after that. So you could be at the light for anywhere between three to five minutes. Another thing you'll need patience with is gym memberships. So we picked out a gym that had air conditioners. They had air purifiers. They had everything you'd possibly want. We're like, this is the gym for us. Signed up for a year membership, paid it all in advance. So the hot season gets there. We're like, yay, we go to a gym that has air conditioners. Never turned them on. Then the smoky season comes where the smoke is bad and you need air purifiers, especially, well, during that season. Air purifiers, I don't even know if they work or not. They never turned them on. Things like that just make you scratch your head. Because you'll even, you know, you, I, we asked them when we got the membership, oh, air conditioners, air purifiers, yes. They don't even turn them on. So if you're getting a membership somewhere, verify that if they have it, that they are going to use them. Another thing you're going to need patience with, say you've got your favorite few restaurants you like to go to and that they say that they're open, I don't know, every day of the week or they're open Monday through Friday and you show up there on the days that they should be open only to find out that they're closed for no particular reason whatsoever. They just randomly open and close, I guess, whenever they want, which is their prerogative, but it's something that you're going to need to exercise patience with. And since we're talking about restaurants, I've said this in many other videos too, you will need patience when your food comes out because a lot of places you may be from, you're used to all the food. Let's say you're at a table with three other people, so there's a total of four. You're used to all of your food coming out at the same time. Does not work like that in most cases here in Thailand. Your food will come out as it's ready, so the person across from you could get their food 10 minutes before you get yours, and then the next person could eat another five minutes and so on. So don't expect your food to come out at the same time. You're gonna to have to practice some patience with that. Another thing that does require patience is when you go to a store, and let's say you're in to buy just something, I don't know, just pick an item, and they advertised it, you go there to buy it, and they don't have it. They do not seem to want to try to give you an alternative. They just basically say no have, and that's the end of it. They won't show you another item that you could be interested in that might work just as good or may even be better. I have not run across in the two and almost two and a half years that we've lived here where anyone has gone the extra mile and showed us an alternative if they don't have what they claim they do have. So that does require a little bit of patience and the way to combat that is you're going to have to ask them, well, do you have something else? that is just as good or better that I could take a look at. Another thing that takes a lot of patience is when people don't really go the extra mile thinking through things. For instance, and this is partially my fault, but just follow me. So I was getting one of our new designs printed out on a shirt, okay, a couple of shirts. This is only a week ago. And I messed up, but I didn't realize I messed up because where it said the, the lettering, where it said Thailand and some other things, it was in a black font. I didn't realize that when I brought it into the printers that they were only going to print in black shirts. Now you would think once they received the media card and they looked at the prints and they were printing on a black shirt that they would say, hey, 
we can't really print on a black shirt and that's all we have because the writing on the shirt is in black. Instead, they printed all the shirts and in some places the logo came apart and that seemed to not bother them whatsoever. They still presented it to me and all the writing was in black. Now I still paid for it because I'm thinking, okay, I shouldn't, I should have asked, I should have been clear, but you would think that someone who printed that out would have been like, okay, this isn't going to work. This was a fail. Let's do this over. Let's contact the guy or even thought about it ahead of time. Doesn't happen. So Thailand is a wonderful place to live. I'm not complaining about this stuff. I said, you will need patience with this stuff. Just know that ahead of time. If you move anywhere in the world, like I said before, there are things that are different from what you're used to that you will need to exercise patience. Now, thank you all for your continued support. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you want to give to the channel, which we'd really appreciate, there is a thanks button down below. There's also buy me a coffee. If you want to give on that, there's a link down in the description. You can also support us monthly on Patreon. And we do have our merchandise store where we do sell shirts and other merchandise. You can find a link in the description to that as well. If you've got other items you would like to add to the list that I just read off, Please do that in the comments. And until next time, Kap Kun Kap.